Hello everyone, it's Victoria from CV here. After a short break, we are back with our fans Q&A sessions. And today I'm very happy to be welcoming one of our super finalists, Samil Seminyuk from Zaxa. Hello and thank you for joining us. How are you? Hello, I'm okay, thanks. Great. Well, as we can, uh, we, we all can recall, uh, Camille and his Zaxa will meet Trentino again <laughs> in the super finals of uh, this year's edition of Champions League. The match will be on May 22nd in Ljubljana, and we are all really excited to see what happens next. Camille, we have received many questions for you. You have many people following you and wanting to get to know you. Questions about the Super Finals, about, uh, about you and your volleyball career. And um, since I know that you have a practice after our call, I suggest we start with the questions uh, when you're ready. Okay? Yeah, you can start. Great. Okay, so first question. How does it feel to be playing for a second year in a row at the Super Finals of Champions League? Mm, I'm really excited. Uh, it's not easy to be two times in, in a row in Super Final in the Champions League. Uh, and again, with the same opponent. So it's a little bit funny. Of course, the, the squads about us and the Trentino is a little bit changed after the last year. Uh, but even that, uh, we are all together and meet against with Trento. So I accept that will be a nice game. And I hope we, after the last point, we will be the winner. Okay. Second question related to the Super Finals is if did you expect that Trentino will be your opponent for a second year or maybe you were like wishing for another team? <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I, before I don't expect that we will be in the final. Of course, we, we won't, but we expect that after the change in our team of, after this last season, it will be difficult to be in the super final. Um, but we are, so we are very happy. Um, in the semi-final between the Trento and the Perugia, we, we, we don't know which, which team we play. We will be ready for both opponents. Now is the Trento, so it's again the same super final like last year. So we'll see. Like I said before, the team is a little bit different than last year. But will be, I think, the same battle like last year, and I think we will win again. <laughs> great, great approach. Yeah, we are also sure that it will be a great battle. Some questions about your uh, real, your volleyball story, to say it that way. When and how did you fall in love with volleyball? <laughs> oh, it's a difficult question because, um, to be honest. In the last moment, I want to be like my older brother, to be the football player. And uh, I think in one moment, I decide to, okay, maybe I choose the other way. And I choose the volleyball. So to be honest, maybe in one moment, I, if I don't decide to change the way, like my brother way, I will be the football player player but I'm volleyball player and I'm I'm happy to be in this point when where I am a volleyball player and a very successful one actually we have another one question related to what would have you been doing if it wasn't volleyball player or football player so if it wasn't sports another daily job maybe but nothing related to sports there is one girl asking that what would have you been doing Ah, okay. Uh, I don't know. I finished the secondary school about the economics, so maybe I will be in, in office and do some this type of job. But <laughs> I'm very happy that uh, I'm not must do it. I'm volleyball player. I'm doing what I love. So it's, I think, the, the best choice and I'm so happy. Great. Well, I'm sure that also the fans of Zax are happy that you're there <laughs> playing. Well, another question is if you have a volleyball idol, uh, a player that you admire and kind of inspire you. Uh, for sure, I watched before 
some players, but I don't have one guy which is my idol. And uh, like I said, I watch the some players and to find some how to say some skills in in my position like receivers. So I want to you know to collect one one skills from one person, one skill from another person, and to collect to to do to correct create my my style like semantic yeah. style. Okay, well, taking different parts from yes from different uh, players to inspire you. And um, is there a, actually what is the best advice that a coach has ever given to you? I guess this is a very difficult one because <laughs> you guys receive always advices and. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Maybe in some difficult moments during the game, when I use all my how to say all skills and I cannot score do the points my coach just say don't worry just go use your hammer in your in your hand and I do it and just work after this sentence from my coach so this is one memory when I remember and who is the coach or it's most of them can you tell us <laughs> <laughs> uh, he is now the coach of the national team in Poland. So okay, <laughs> we know him. Yeah, I think you know. <laughs> yeah, we know him. Also, I believe the people are, who are watching us know it. Yeah, do you have a pre-match routine? Something that you are doing before each match? Uh, nothing special. I like to listen some nice music in the locker room, and just how to say, uh, remember about the tactics on the game plan, just just it, no, nothing special. Normal, normal things, yeah, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, one guy is asking about your favorite exercise for explosiveness. I don't know if you can explain it now. Maybe it will be a little bit difficult <laughs> on the call. Yeah, I think, I think uh, this is the question to our uh, coach of the physical preparation. Uh, I just do the exercise and of, of course I'm a little bit jump more than maybe other guys but uh, like I said it's I think the practice on the gym and that's all okay. I cannot say drink milk and then you can jump like <laughs> like animal it doesn't work that way <laughs> you no, have to it's go not in the gym like okay how did you feel when you realized that you'll be doing your Olympic debut last year in your first year with the national team? What was the feeling? Uh, of course, it was my first season in the national team and I didn't expect that it will be like that. So, meaning uh, I will be in the every tournament uh, and the, the biggest one, like the Olympic Games. So I'm very happy. Um, I hope uh, it's not the last year in the national team. It will be like, I hope in every year until when I will be <laughs> healthy and enough strong to, to be there. But uh, of course it was dream to be in the national team in, and the last year in the national team was, I think, really nice. And um, talking about the best advice from this coach that we all know, one girl is asking, are you excited, excited again to work with Grubic in the national team? Uh, I'm really happy to, to meet him again because last season uh, he was in Zaxa, so the relationship and the work with him was really, really good. We won a lot of title in with Zaxa. The most important for sure is the Champions League. And now I'm really happy and I cannot uh, uh, wait to, to meet him again in national team and I think it will be a nice time to in national to work all together with Nicola. And yeah, to receive some other advices as the one that <laughs> he was giving you. Just 
don't think about it and score. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, many people are, when we are doing these fans uh, Q&A sessions, are asking their players to name a dream team, you know, per positions. So mm -hmm. we had the same question for you as well. Can you do it right now? Like your dream team of all times, men's. <laughs> okay, so on the receivers will be for sure Leon. And the second one will be it's difficult. But yeah. I think Ngapet on the Libero Dotorski. Setter Janusz. Uh, middle blocker Kochanowski and Simon. And the attackers will be Kaczmarek. Great. Well, what other sports do you like to follow besides uh, volleyball? You mentioned before that that uh, your brother is, is, was a, a football player. I don't know if he yeah, like sports. amateur. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah. I guess you like football, soccer, but what else besides volleyball and uh, football? Do you follow any other? Yeah, I follow some matches on volley in football. Uh, I watched some national games, some. League like Premier League, like La Liga, Serie A. So I'm I follow it, and other sports like basketball, not so not so much like football. Okay, so it's basically volleyball and football. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Great. Well, one last question from your fans: um, How does it feel when you see people in the gym in the sports hall supporting you, wearing your T-shirt with your name? And at the end of the game, coming to you, asking for autographs, for posters. How, how does it feel? For sure, it's a nice uh, feeling. Uh, I cannot imagine that I will be in this place where, where I am now. And to see these this fans with my T-shirt, with my surname. So it's really nice feeling. And just just all i ho i'm very happy to to see see all fans on the on the gym now great well i'm sure many of them will be following the super finals online or on site uh thanks again camille for joining us for answering uh, these questions thanks also to all the people who sent the questions please keep an eye on our instagram stories because we'll be uh, launching other fans q a sessions with your with other favorite uh, super finalists. So if you want to send again your questions, please uh, feel free to do so. There is a special hashtag dedicated to the finals, uh, hashtag super finals Ljubljana. So see you all in Ljubljana and uh, in our online fans q &A sessions. Thanks again and until next time. Thank you. Thank you. La, 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 la.